Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 24th to October 30th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. If this reading resonates, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, I'd really appreciate it. All right. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also, my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I am currently sick right now. I'm going through the flu. So if I sound different, that's the reason why, okay? Okay, so I'm going to get started with your energy first. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, first card we have for you is the Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Strength, Hierophant, Temperance. At the bottom, Five of Swords, Eight of Cups, King, Queen of Swords. All right, let's see. Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Page of Cups. So Aquarius, in regards to your energy for the week, I do feel like you're feeling disappointed here. Mm-hmm. You do feel a lot of, I do have a cough drop, by the way, in my mouth, so if you can hear that noise, it's a cough drop, so I'm trying to control my coughing so I don't ruin the video too much, but I do feel like you have a lot of, like, passion and desire for someone with the Ace of Wands. This is someone who you want to build a relationship with. But you might feel like this person has left you out in the cold. You feel like this person is very disconnected from you, very distant. And you don't know why. You like you're confused a little bit as to why things are so difficult here between you and this person. Why things are not progressing. With the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, I do feel like you, you want to receive the truth from this person. You want to receive clarity. Let me see. Clarify the uh, Knight of Swords, Spirit. Thank you. King of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse, Page of Swords and the Lovers. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles, so again, it's someone who you really feel a strong physical connection to, spiritual connection, emotional connection. But with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's like things are not really, things are not really working out here. There's a lot of obstacles. 
there's a lot of challenges and you're starting to lose the faith with the temperance card in reverse. You're starting to lose the faith. Some of you might feel like this person is very non-committal. And again, I feel like you want progress with the Wheel of Fortune. You want progress, but you feel like this person is not being 100% honest with you. You might feel like this person is very back and forth, very inconsistent. I don't know, let's see. How is Aquarius um, viewing this person's spirit? Okay, we have Page of Pentacles. You might feel like this person is friend zoning you or like they or like they're breadcrumbing you. And you're looking for something more serious. With the Seven of Pentacles, you want this person to to give you more because you know you deserve more. You might feel like this person is not interested in you in the same way that you're interested in them. So there's a big, you know, this disbalance, this harmony between you and this person. Again, you might feel like they're breadcrumbing you or friend zoning you. You have Ten of Pentacles here. You also might feel like this person is moving too slow and it's making you feel skeptical because they're very slow. This person might have told you that they want commitment, but the way that they're acting with you makes you feel skeptical about believing them or trusting them. You feel like this person is not being honest. We get water. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Ace of Cups is at the bottom. Nine of Cups in reverse. You wanted a new beginning in love with them, but you don't feel like it's 50-50. It's equal. Sorry. You feel like it's not reciprocated. You're not feeling the love from this person. You're not feeling the love. You're not feeling the, um, the appreciation from, from them. You're not feeling valued. All right, let's look at your person, see what's going on. All right, Spirit, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love. For this week, thank you, Spirit.
All right, first card is the world, emperor, knight of wands, page of swords, five of pentacles, nine of pentacles. <coughs> All right, let's see if I can get through this reading. What's at the bottom? Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups, Three of Swords. Hmm. Hold on, give me a second here. Oh, I see what's going on. This is someone who's scared to be vulnerable with you, Aquarius. That's the, that's the issue here. This person wants to, you know, make themselves seem like something they're not. They're carrying this fake confidence with the emperor. They want to make it seem like they don't need anybody like they're good on their own, <coughs> like they don't care about you, but it's, it's not true. This person is watching you and spying on you. They're interested in you, they're just not acting like they're interested. They're testing you. They want to see how loyal you are. They want to see how much you can tolerate. How patient you can be with them. They're testing your limit, basically. Which is not fair. It's definitely not fair. They're playing games with you, basically, in other words. This is someone who has abandonment issues. They want a relationship with you, with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But they're not saying anything. They're not putting out their emotions on the table. They're keeping quiet about how they feel. And they're testing you with the Emperor. They do want something long-term, something stable, but this is someone who takes a long time to, to trust another person and to make a final decision. They take a long time, you know. It's like this person has a checklist, a checklist of requirements and they're watching you to see if you check every box in that list of requirements, you know? They're very picky, they're very selective, but they're very interested in you with the Page of Cups. And also with the Emperor, they're very attracted to you. They're definitely looking at you as someone who they can see themselves being with in a real relationship. But this is someone who doesn't trust their own self, you know? They don't even trust their own self. They don't trust their own intuition or their own judgments. So they're in this energy of observing you, studying you, watching you. And basically, you know, like I said, testing you, testing your limits. They're, they want to see how patient you are or, you know, how much you can tolerate, how consistent you are. This person is kind of narcissistic, I will say that, okay? I do feel like you are dealing with someone who's, who has a very strong kind of masculine energy. 
they like to be in control all the time. You know, they like to be, they like to be in charge. And they're not very flexible in regards to the things that they want. Let me see. Tell me more about the Emperor Spirit. Yeah, look at that. King of Wands. King of Wands and the Emperor. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. <coughs> Two of Pentacles. I told you. They're not very flexible with the things that they want. They know what they want. And they're not going to negotiate with you. So like I said, I feel like this person just has a checklist and they're taking, they, they're taking their time to see if you check every box in their list. But I do feel like they are looking for something serious, okay? They're not, they're not trying to just hook up with you or trying to have something casual with you. That's not their intention. But I do feel like they're being very one-sided in their energy. And that's something you can expect from this person, to be very one-sided, you know? They care more about their needs than, than your needs, if that makes sense. All right, Aquarius, so I hope this reading helped you. I'm sorry I was sick and coughing, but I hope it resonated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.